Hi, I'm Luke Gross, aka Mr. Intensity. I'm a realtor here in Southwest Florida and I'm with Records Results Real Estate. Um, one question that uh, buyers that I work with or investors that I work with, one question they should be asking is, you know, how, how afraid should I be to work with a contractor? And you'd be surprised that a lot of buyers, investors, both, both of those groups together, you know, they're hesitant to work with contractors because they just don't understand the complexities of that industry. I don't really understand all the complexities of how to be a contractor. That's why I work with them. And I, I have a group that I trust and they'll do, you know, all the work that I'll need them to do and they do a really good job. So that's, that's the key is finding a contractor that has a good reputation and they know really how to fix your investment property or the property you're looking to buy. It seems like it's common sense, but you'd be surprised because there are a lot of contractors out there that don't really know a lot of the complexities that go into the particular property that you're looking to purchase. You know, there's issues with permits, there's, there's all sorts of specifics that are go beyond just, you know, putting some sheetrock on the wall, painting and laying some carpet or some tile or, you know, doing some basic upgrades to a property to make it look right. You know, there, there are a lot of regulations to how these properties have to come together in order for you to be able to get the mortgage or get the financing or even, you know, have the opportunity to sell your property to the next person. Certain things have to be in line and you need to hire the right person that understands all the complexities of how that's going to work. The other thing to consider is how expensive is this going to be, right? So a rehab cost can make or break your deal. So the best thing to do is when you locate a property and you're ready to make a purchase on that, you need to have some concept of how much that's going to cost you, right? So if you've never gone through this process before, the best thing that I would suggest is getting a referral from someone who's gone through a rehab project, right? Talk to somebody that's already gone through this process and ask them basic questions and maybe even get a name of a contractor that has done some work for them in the past and have them assess the property that you're interested in buying. They're going to be able to tell you pretty quickly, you know, just by just doing a visual inspection of the property, whether or not this is going to be a good buy for you based on the price of the property. So you're going to have to do some research, but at some point you're going to have to take the leap and hire someone that knows how to basically make or break your deal, right? <clears throat> Not every deal is a good one. If their price is really good, but the rehab cost is just way out of whack, you might want to move on to the next project and see if that's a better fit for you. So other things to consider is if you're trying to finance uh, the purchase of a property and it does need some rehab work, you might even have an opportunity to enter into a 203k loan, for example, where you, know, you can go out and get some financing and you can also finance the rehab side of it as well. That could be a really good way for you to find a really valuable property, even if it does need some repairs. So do me a favor, click at the link at the bottom of the, of the video, you know, ask questions, make some comments, and stay tuned for other videos related to questions you should be asking when you're looking to buy a home. Thanks.